York has all the pieces to win a championship. I think at times they are complacent. They need to refine that edge they had when they started 8-0. And a good defense there for Ohio against Paul Rabel. And it'll be an over and back. So the possession will go for Ohio. We'll see the machine in all black here tonight. An alternate uniform for them. Brian Farrell gets in three in front and scores the game's first points of the game. And Paul Rabel checked out there by Peter Baum. He'll fire the first shot for the Lizards and a score. Man, he just blisters one pass. Brian Fifth to tie the game. Less than 10 on the shot clock. You see it up in the upper left-hand corner. Out in front. Holden got three. A mistake by New York. A great feed. And the former Tar Heel buries it in the back of the net. Little things like that, having that backup is giving Ohio high success. And Jimmy Bitter, a two-pointer just beyond the yard. So Soldier will end up with another face-off win. Dan Bruce collecting ground ball. And here comes Ohio again. Now a shot. And Adam can't save it. Bitter, the shot. Adams got a piece, and it just rolls across the goal line, and Adams in a desperation effort, tried to reel it back in, but couldn't do so, and Bitter gets his second goal. This man up. Now over in front again, Cooper caught it, goes behind the back and scores, just as he was knocked into the crease. Off balance, first of all, just to catch it was amazing. And then to finish the way he did, one of the prettiest goals you'll ever see. Hey, over the course of four quarters, as opposed to those two big quarters. And a shot that handcuffs Adams, and a goal for Ohio. But they play smart lacrosse, and they don't allow second chance opportunities. And a shot blocked by Steve Holmes on the attempt by Schreiber. And coming back the other way now, it'll be New York. Raven gives it up for Pinnell. He will fire and score! Again, this is a team that averages having over 15 points per game, and they're just right now sitting on four. However, Harrison on the dodge. Holman back out now, Schreiber. Schreiber surveys. Somehow fed it out in front. I don't know how Stanley caught that pass and then scored. There was no room, and I don't. I still don't know how Stanley saw it coming. Here come the Lizards. And a shot here will get past Biff. Back to back. They started 8 0. Now in front, Pinnell scores! Rob Pinnell with another goal tonight, showing why he might set that point scoring record this year. Figure out the right button to push here to get his team back to within striking distance after a, another win by Pascolgen. Gives it up to Stanwick, who quickly scores for Ohio, and they answer the goal. Looking for somebody in front. Now tries to create on his own. Gets pummeled again to the ground, this time by Jake Bernhardt. And Pinnell still down behind the play, just getting up from his knees. If I'm Joe Spolina right now, I have seen enough. You just saw Nicky Blanco leave the field. He's gotten the value out of this game, from my perspective, in terms of wanting to remain sharp. And holding, here's Ohio and what they can do so well. More than ever, because of the early start, is really difficult for a lot of people. And here's another feed over to, I believe, is that Holman? The Ohio Machine with an impressive win here tonight. They jump out early after the game was tied at two. They take a 7-2 victory lead at the end of one, and they never look back.